guys welcome back to my channel um today i wanted to film an intro for my 19 in 2019 i can't believe it's going to be 2019 already i feel like this year just flew on by <laughs> um today is actually december 22nd i'm filming a little early because i have a little bit of time and i know i'm gonna have a lot of filming to do um once the end of the year approaches so i was a little late to the panning game train <laughs> last year um so i wasn't able to do 18 in 2018 but i feel like if I had done it, it would have been a little too overwhelming. So I decided to go ahead and do a 19 in 2019 and see how we do. I did incorporate some skincare, um, a couple of hair care, but it's mostly makeup. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it because it's probably going to be a long video. Um, so first, I would like to finish up this alouette um face paint lip and cheek tint i've been using this as um a cream blush primarily um for the last couple of weeks just to make sure that i can incorporate it into my routine and that i like it um my sister has a food scale so i'll be um, weighing all of this after i film i'll be marking everything weighing everything after i film um i am getting about a nine day head start um but i think that's okay it's fine um so yeah that's my first item next is color pops waddles i had hit major pan on this already and i re-hit pan i repressed um but i just it smells a little weird because of the oil i use i think but yeah i just want to go ahead and finish that up so that's item number two next is my ready set radiant um spray from Tarte. i'm right about on the top of radiant so i will go ahead and mark that um once i'm done filming um but yeah this was in a previous project but i just want to go ahead and finish it up next is my it cosmetics bye bye pore setting powder this is completely new i haven't even opened it i'm still working on a powder as you can see um the little poof and the sticker if it'll a little too bright the sticker is still on there nothing's coming out so <laughs> the sticker is still on there um I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna start using this for another week or so next is my color pop wisp highlighter i repressed it because there was a lot of pan and i oh man it's crumbling it's crumbling but yeah that's how much i have left i've also been incorporating this into my routine as well um because you know i want to create the habit and then it'll be easier to use if that makes sense <laughs> that way it'll be more successful and then next I have my Garnier Fructis um, frizz spray thing um, this was just in my uh, before Christmas the Christmas project pan so I'm right about right here I'll mark it like I said after I finish filming I want to go ahead and finish this off um, next is the Garnier um, it's a balancing facial mist um, so I'm right about there. I want to go ahead and finish this off after I finish the Tarte one. Um, next is my Laura Geller blush in Tropic Hues. I love this blush. It's so beautiful. But as you can see, it's still pretty domed. Um, I want to see how much progress I can make on this sucker. <laughs> um, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Got it in BoxyCharm. Next is this Kardashian Beauty Blow Dry Cream. I got it, I won it in a BoxyCharm giveaway years ago. So I just want to finish it. I think maybe like I'm right here or even halfway. I'm not really sure. I'm really bad with using hair stuff. So that's why I want to put it in a project. See if I can finish it. Um, next from the Cheek Parade palette. I'm going to go with Hula Light. As you can see, I've already hit pan. And there's like a bit of a dip around here. But the rest, the outer skirts of it is still pretty high up. Um, so I want to go ahead and finish that up. Next, I would like to finish up Tarte's Pixie. As you know, I was working on it earlier this year. I just want to go ahead and see it through and finish that up. Next is this Love Beauty and Planet Dry Shampoo. Um, I got it a couple months ago. It's in Citrus Peel Radical Refresher Uplifting Dry Shampoo. Um, it is 4.3 ounces, 121 grams. Um, I can't see through it. I've used it 
maybe like a handful of times. I like it. It smells good. Um, I'll weigh it after I finish and when I remember to go get my sister's scale. <laughs> Um, next, I just purchased this uh, CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer in Fair. It, is, it has really, really light coverage. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing a different one. Wand looks like that. So I've used it once or twice, so this is practically brand new. I, I want to see how long it takes me to get through that. Um, next is this Butter London um, Nail Polish in Ruby Murray. Um, looks like that. That's the top if you take this off. There's a cute little bird on there. <laughs> um, we'll mark later when it's daylight because it's night right now. <laughs> and then next I have Makeup Geeks Barcelona Beach. These are really hard to get through so I just, I've already hit pan as you can see and I just want to get through it. Um, I recently finished, um, Creme Brulee so I want to go ahead and just get that one done too because I got them at the same time so when I get that done I want to finish up this Mary Duminizer um it's a liquid highlighter um and all over illuminator I've used it once or twice um I received this in my ipsy last month I believe so I just want to see how long it takes to finish this up the wand is pretty massive compared to like the size of the product <laughs> but that's okay I like it it's beautiful it's very very beautiful I miss my Mary Luminizer um, next is a lipstick. I think, is this my first lipstick? This might be my first lipstick. <laughs> this is 1995 from Gerard Cosmetics. I just, I've had it for a long time, so I just want to go ahead and finish it up. And then I do have another lip product in here. It's uh, the Jante Blue um, Spice Lip Liner. I tried panning this once before, but I just... I don't really feel the need to pan lip liners, but I'm panning a lip gloss currently that I know looks really nice with this, so maybe I can use those up together. And then for number 19, I am going to try and finish up um, Adept Cosmetics um, Cairo Bronzer. It looks like this. It has a cute little imprint of a cat. Um, I love this palette. It's really beautiful. Let me swatch the bronzer for you. Even though I didn't swatch anything else. <laughs> but it's really nice. Um, it's definitely a forgotten product for me. Because the way I stack this. It's on the side. It's not really like visible to me. <laughs> um, but yeah. Those are the 19 products I hope to work on. And finish up in um, 2019. Or you know just get as much progress as I can. Out of them I'm really really excited I know some of them are going to be more challenging than others and I did that on purpose because I don't want easy products anymore you know I want to be able to see that I'm finishing hard products and I'm using my items you know so I know the updates probably won't be that interesting <laughs> but maybe this year I'll do once every three months um one once every other month it depends um how progress is going but I'm really excited this is my first like number of items for year so I'm super excited about that um I am going to be doing A to Z with the fantastic ladies and I'm going to be doing a couple other uh, seasonal projects here and there so I'm very excited but kind of scared at the same time because I are, still have projects rolling over from this past year um so yeah I'm very excited and everyone is so supportive so I think that really helps when you're feeling defeated and like your products aren't going anywhere <laughs> but I think this is a really nice hobby to have and I'm really really excited to have found this community and you know receiving all the support and seeing everyone's progress and their achievements and all of that so thank you guys so much for watching um let me know if you tried any of these products if you feel like some of them are harder than others to get through um or if you just want to cheer me on, <laughs> let me know down below. And I can't wait to watch your 19 and 2019 videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video soon.